All right, so let's have a two or three minute crash course on thrombocytopenia. That's uh, based on a, a one pager I recently made on the topic. Um, first thing to do, make sure you're not dealing with um, platelet clumping. That can be a spurious cause. Thereafter, the acronym I've created is damaging. So if your platelets are critically low, that can be very damaging to the body. Uh, so D stands for drugs, uh, antibiotics, antipsychotics, and anti-cancer medications certainly are a common cause of thrombocytopenia. The classic antibiotic that I think of is Septra. Uh, a stands for alcohol, as well as related nutritional deficiencies like B12. Uh, M is MAHA, so microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. And um, think of the acronyms TTP, HIT, DIC, HUS, ITP. Nope, um, not ITP, but all of the rest can lead to a MAHA. Uh, a uh, stands for aplastic, as well as um, alloimmune conditions like lupus. Uh, giant platelets, think ITP. Um, infection, uh, viral infections, absolutely. Uh, bacterial infections, especially gram negatives and sometimes ticks. Uh, N standing for neoplasm, especially hematologic malignancies can present with uh, thrombocytopenia. And then uh, giant spleen, so thinking cirrhosis or myelofibrosis, um, both can of course lead to thrombocytopenia because of the splenomegaly that ensues. Uh, let's talk about some classic presentations. So for ITP, um, often it'll be a young woman and they'll have a very low platelet count, like one single platelet, um, but usually they aren't sick and they aren't bleeding. Um, HIT or heparin-induced thrombocytopenia, uh, typically the patient's been in hospital for a while and they're receiving heparin and they have a high uh, 4T score. If you don't know what that is, just Google it. Uh, TTP. Uh, so you, you should think about TTP when you see both anemia and thrombocytopenia and renal failure, especially if the patient's febrile or confused. But as more time passes, I realize that TTP can be pretty hard to diagnose. Uh, and then MDS, um, myelodysplastic syndrome, the classic presentation would be an older adult who also has a macrocytic anemia. Um, the purple is just denoting um, hemolysis. So with HIT and TTP, um, you know, uh, hemolysis is a core feature in contrast to say ITP or MDS. Another question about thrombocytopenia is when should we transfuse uh, platelets? So in general, um, if the patient is not bleeding, you use a platelet threshold less than 10. Um, if they are actively bleeding, then typically at a platelet threshold of 30 you would transfuse and for general surgery um, this does not include uh, neuro uh, neurosurgical procedures pardon me um, generally if the platelet count is less than 50. Uh, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, I'm Mike Fralick, general internist in Toronto and Sault Ste. Marie and we got it almost at three minutes.